देर इज अनदर टॉपिक कॉल्ड डीएनए डीएनए नाउ एज द नेम सजेस्ट डी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड एज द नेम सजेस्ट न्यूक्लिक एसिड इट्स इट्स लोकेशन इज मेनली इन साइड द न्यूक्लियस वी हैव स्टडीड और वी नो दैट देर आर फ्यू साइटोप्लाज्मिक ऑर्गेनल्स ऑल्सो विच कंटेन देयर ओन डीएनए लाइक माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट बट इन जनरल द लोकेशन ऑफ डीएनए इज इन साइड द न्यूक्लियस डीएनए इज जेनेटिक मेटेरियल जेनेटिक मेटेरियल मीन्स द जीन्स आर मेड फ्रॉम डीएनए ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस आर कंट्रोल्ड बाई डीएनए it is genetic material dna was first of all studied by rosalind franklin shape of shape of uh, dna dna shape was studied studied in 1953 by रोजालिंड फ्रैंकलिन रोजालिंड फ्रैंकलिन रोजालिंड फ्रैंकलिन बट इट्स स्ट्रक्चर द डबल हेलिकल मॉडल वॉज गिवेन और स्टडीड बाई वाटसन एंड क्रीक सो वाटसन एंड क्रीक जनरली क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट फॉर दिस वन ओनली Watson and Crick studied studied its structure structure and gave gave double helical model of DNA gave double helical model double helical uh, gave double helical model now in dna it has or dna is a long strand now it is its repeating unit its repeating unit is called nucleotide in chromosome the repeating unit was nucleosome in dna the repeating unit is nucleotide hence the dna is called polynucleotide chain so dna is a polynucleotide chain polynucleotide chain now so it is its repeating unit is called nucleotide and it is a polynucleotide chain now what does nucleotide consist of nucleotide it has three components three components first pentose sugar carbohydrate pentagonal sugar is its component second phosphate group phosphate group that is the inorganic phosphate phosphate group and the third part which is the important part of it is the nitrogenous base nitrogenous bases the nitrogenous bases are of four types which are categorized as two names that is purine and pyrimidine pyrimidine purine contains adenine 
एंड गुगानिन पायरिमिडिन कंटेन्स साइटोसाइन एंड थाइमिन सो यू विल सी हियर दैट इज देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजनस बेसेज ना सो इफ यू ड्रॉ द सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ न्यूक्लियोटाइड मॉलिक्यूल देन यू विल सी हियर दैट इज सपोज वी हैव वी हैव पेंटोज शुगर दिस इज पेंटोज शुगर ऑन दिस साइड सपोज देर इज अ फॉस्टेट ग्रुप एंड ऑन दिस साइड देर विल बी a nitrogenous base this is nucleotide nucleotide since there are four types of nitrogenous bases so there will be four types of nucleotides and these four types of the types of nucleotides only make different types of genes by different sequential arrangements now when we study about the structure of dna a structure of dna a structure of dna or double helical model double helical model now the dna consists of two strands of nucleotides now the suppose there is pentose sugar phosphate group and on this side suppose there is adenine there is another there is another nucleotide again suppose here is cytosine there is next this is a kind of chain suppose here it is guanine here it is thymine now suppose this is the one strand of dna that will continue that will continue now there will be another strand now again on this side there is nitrogenous base pentose sugar phosphate group there is another nucleotide making like this further next this one now you have to remember there are two strands and the two nitrogenous bases of the two strand join together there is a kind of bond called hydrogen bond so we say that nit two nitrogenous bases two nitrogenous bases of dna strands of two dna strands strands joined by hydrogen bond you must remember this is a question asked repeatedly hydrogen bond it is a type of bond between two molecules hydrogen bond so it must be learned now adenine always combines with thymine here two lines are drawn two bonds are present cytosine combines with guanine there are three lines so in this way again if there is guanine on this side there is cytosine cytosine now again three lines here thymine then there will be adenine again there are two lines 
सो इन दिस वे द टू स्ट्रैंड ऑफ डी एन ए आर ज्वाइंट टूगेदर नाउ वाटसन एंड क्रीक गेव अस डबल हेलिकल मॉडल इट मीन्स दैट द टू स्ट्रैंड ऑफ डी एन ए सपोज दिस इज अ रिबन लाइक ए स्ट्रक्चर हैविंग टू स्ट्रैंड एंड दिस इज ट्विस्टेड दिस विल बी ट्विस्टेड लाइक सपोज इफ वी ड्रॉ इट लाइक दिस नाउ देर विल बी ट्विस्टेड एंड इन इज इज पार्ट देर विल बी दिस नाइट्रोजनस बेस पेयर लाइक दिस इन डबल हेलिकल मॉडल जस्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन टर्न from this part to this part there is a complete turn one turn will have the length of 34 angstrom 34 angstrom the length of one turn of dna double helical model is 34 angstrom so and there are 10 nucleotide pairs 10 nucleotide pairs in each turn in each turn so what will be the distance between two consecutive nucleotide pairs that is what will be this distance this will be 3.4 angstrom so this is all about the structure of dna now next point just there is a very simple term related to it which we must include in this part the term is called genome genetic code also known as triplet as you know that in chromosome there is a strand of dna uh, surrounding the histone proteins genetic code what is it the sequence of three nucleotide pairs that is one segment one a small segment having three nucleotide pairs is called genome genetic code or triplet that will carry some information now that is a uh, combination of uh, combination of three nucleotide pairs three nucleotide pairs in a gene in a in dna in dna combination of three nucleotide pairs in dna is called genome now there is another term called that is gene as you know gene is the unit of heredity unit of heredity gene is the segment of dna the segment of dna having having a specific arrangement a specific arrangement of nucleotide nucleotide that in code that encode that encode a particular character that encode information information for protein synthesis protein synthesis controlling controlling a particular character particular character 
so this is the gene it means that in dna there is a sequence of nucleotides a specific sequence that is it is a segment of dna not the complete dna is making gene it is a specific segment of dna having a, a specific arrangement of nucleotide that controls the protein synthesis and hence character of an organism they are located on chromosomes located on chromosomes hence we say that dna is the genetic material gene is the unit of heredity and chromosome is the carrier of hereditary units that is the gene means genes pass from one uh, one uh, generation to another generation through chromosomes now last point related to it is dna fingerprint DNA fingerprint. In chromatids, some part of DNA will be a particular gene that regulate a particular character. Another part or segment of DNA will not carry any feature or character. That segment of DNA is called non-functional genetic code that is the segment of dna which not forms the part of gene and does not control any character is called non-functional genome or genetic code now the arrangement of genetic codes or non-functional genetic code is different in different individuals so the study of arrangement of non-functional genetic code in DNA or chromosome is called DNA fingerprint. It helps in parental, uh, that is determining parental relationship because there is up to certain extent there is matching type of DNA fingerprint or arrangement between parents and offspring. Although they do not match 100%, but up to certain extent they match, that help us in determining the parental relationship uh, as well as second part. It helps in criminal investigation because from the crime side, some samples are collected that may be blood sample, hairs, scratches from a skin, semen. Now their finger, uh, their uh, DNA composition is studied and then the sample is correct, collected from the suspects. If the two samples match each other, then there will be a strong case. But if they do not match together, the person is uh, proved to be innocent. Hence, it helps in criminal investigations also. So, uh, students, this is all about the chromosomes, its uh, structure and uh, the DNA, its composition and different factors related to it. In next part, we will study the cell division of that chapter. Thanks.